Hey, who's there? I'm honoured that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Are you in need of a helping hand, Master Butcher? Up an hand? No. But I've got a problem with supplies. I understand. The roads aren't safe these days. No, that's not what I meant. Beef and pork I can get plenty of. But the burgers here have a taste for aristocratic food. And maybe you can help me with that. You want me to poach game? Heaven forbid I would ever suggest such a thing. No. You would have to get it by, uh, other means. I don't want to spoil your plans, but game doesn't grow on trees. No, but if you happen to be walking in the woods and, uh, came across something, if you see what I mean. All right. Let's say I'll take a walk in the woods and I'll come across something and bring it to you. Excellent. I'm glad to see you speak my language. Get me a wild boar for now, so I can see what you can do. And don't worry, you'll be well rewarded. Farewell. What happened to your clothes? If you were robbed, you should report it. Look out! May the Lord watch over you. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. All right, so. Here. And uh, something for your trouble. 
My word. Thank you kindly. Good luck to you. God be with you. Do you want something? I do. And you look like the kind of fellow who knows a thing or two and wouldn't mind a bit of work that's not entirely... well... honest. What's it about? I'm looking for someone who knows how to dip her pockets. For a... reward, of course. Then it's lucky for you that I happened along. Who do you want me to rob? There's a farmer who lives in the craftsman's yard. He made a killing supplying vegetables for the monastery. I worked for him for a while, but then he threw me out without even paying me for my labour. I'd like you to steal the grush and he owes me. And, also, a pouch containing an amulet he got from the herb woman. He's as superstitious as an old crone, so when he realises he's lost it, he'll have a fit. Sounds easy enough. It ain't quite that easy, otherwise I'd handle it myself. That fucker don't trust no one, and he's always looking over his shoulder. If you manage to nick his pouch and his coin, you can keep the grosh as a reward. Good luck to you.
do with you, honey? I'm dying of thirst here. There. Satisfied as you wish. What I What's that? God be with you. Here's the farmer's pouch you asked for. Great, thanks. He'll have a fit when he finds out. He won't get a wink of sleep till he gets a new one. You see, he's got this idea he'll be eaten alive by fleas and lice without his amulet. Well, I'm always on the lookout for work. What have you got? When I worked for the farmer, I took a fancy to his maid. Only she's got someone else. A draper. He gives her fine shawls and chemises. And I don't have a chance. Go and steal the shawl she has. What use would her shawl be to you? I'll slip it to someone else and then tell the draper his sweetheart puts no value on the gifts he gives her. He's really jealous, so he'll be mad as hell. That's not very nice of you. But what do I care? What's it worth to you? Don't worry. I'll reward you in Groshen. God be with you. Brought you that girl's shawl. Thank you. I'll hide it in the farmer's bed and then tell the draper. He'll cripple the bastard if you don't kill him outright. Who is it you want to get revenge on? The farmer or his maid? All of them. They're all a bunch of diabolical swine. And that draper, too. Is there anything else you want? One last thing. But it won't be so easy this time. I got my own back on the farmer and that wench. Now it's the draper's turn. For stealing my girl. Steal the tinderbox he carries. It's his pride and joy, and he's always boasting about how fine it is. Everyone knows it's his. Once you've got it, 
I'll set the whole bloody farm on fire and drop his tinderbox there so everyone will blame him. The Avenging Angel is at your service. I'll get right on it. May the Lord watch over you. What? Hey, what are you doing here? Clear off quick or I'll throw you out. I am at your service, Sir Knight. I've got the draper's tinderbox for you. <laughs> he who laughs last, laughs loudest. Here's the boots I promised you. Wear them in good health. And now I'll go and get my revenge. Take care now.
again. Well, I never. Henry! Hey! We're here! Henry! I'm glad to see you. Matthew! Fritz! You're alive! Of course we're alive. You can't get rid of us that easily. I'm almost surprised how happy I am to see the pair of you are all right. We are now, but we barely made it. Yeah, yeah, it was hard. Fritz ran like a little girl. <laughs> really? Bollocks! Bloody joker. <laughs> Tell us what happened to you. They gave me a pretty good thrashing as well. It was only in Ratai that I got back in my right mind. And I see you're not doing too badly for yourself. What are you up to? Well, right now I'm helping the Reeve in Ratai. That doesn't sound bad at all. Nah. And how are you two getting by? It's shit. You said it. We're still chopped after bits. Oh, the monastery a bundle. And there's no work here. Not for anyone with more than half a brain, anyway. No one's interested in two good carpenters in Sasau. No one. And we looked everywhere. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know of anything. It will really help us out right now. Well, I can ask around, but I'm not promising anything. Thanks, Henry. We'll pay off the debt, don't you worry. And where would they hire you to? Well, we were carpenters in the mines, so wherever they work with wood, I suppose. Forget about construction. After Scarlet's, no one will be building for a long time. Just here in Sasau, and they don't want us here. The best chance we have is to work at a mill. People always have to eat. Ideally, we're hey, looking for a job that I'm pays a lot and doesn't require much work. What other neighbours of ours made it? Your hunkers in the monastery. That girl really helped us out. That's about all we know. When we ran for it, we helped Teresa. But who knows where she is now? We got separated. I owe my life to Teresa. She hauled me unconscious to the mill in Ratai and nursed me back to health. I'm glad she survived. Since you know her so well, why not try asking her if she knows about any work? I'll be with you. Greetings, Henry. Matthew and Fritz and their regards. They survived. My God, I'm glad. They helped me out a lot. And where did you see them? In Sasau. I bumped into them in front of the tavern. Where else? And how are they doing? They're doing fine. The monks brought them back to health. But they don't have work, and they're in debt. You wouldn't happen to know of any jobs going for two lazy carpenters. Not here. And I think it will be the same in all of Ratai. It's overcrowded with refugees, and they're all looking for work. Mm, that's bad. Those two need work badly to keep them out of mischief. You know what they're like. I do indeed. Try the mills in the smaller hamlets. The miller in the Dechko is old. Maybe he could use some strong hands. I will. Thanks. I've brought you something. Are you serious? 
serious? What on earth is this? Take it away, Hal. I don't want it. God save you. What can I do for you? Is there any work here for carpenters? No, I'm not looking for anyone at the moment. Goodbye. God save you, good knight. What can I do for you? Teresa, the millmaid, sent me. She said you could use some help. Some extra pairs of hands would be useful. What do you have in mind? My friends, two survivors of Scalitz, are looking for work. And why should I take them? They're experienced carpenters. Why not? Carpenters would be helpful. There's a lot of work here at the mill, and I'm not as spry as I used to be. Thomas, my foreman, tries his best, but he ain't up to that kind of work. But they aren't idlers and drunks, are they? I only take in people who are willing to do hard, honest work. I'm from Scalitz, and I know them both personally. They worked in the royal mines, and their master couldn't praise them highly enough. In the scouts' mines? But that's skillful work. I'll be glad to talk to them. Tell them I'll give them a chance. We'll talk about pay and a roof over their heads when they get here. Take care now. Henry, I'm glad you came. Hey, how'd you get so fucked up? God be with you. The Miller and Ledechko would be happy to meet you. You really found work for us? Of course. We couldn't bear to look at those sour faces of yours a moment longer. Thanks, Henry. Only... <sighs> what? The reward we talked about, well, we haven't got two Groshen to rub together. Nah, that doesn't matter. You'll pay me when you have it. That we will.
Stop by and visit us in a week. We'll pay you back as soon as we get our first wage. Goodbye. Yeah! God save you. What can I do for you? Any chance of some work? Well, come to think, there is one rather delicate matter to attend to. A while ago, a holy man came by here. He said he'd come from the Holy Land, and he was selling various relics he'd collected on his travels to pay his way. I see. Well, I heard he had some fragments of a sacred sword that once belonged to the fabled Czech Queen of Sheba. But by the time he reached me, he had no pieces left of the sword. All he had was some dubious wares, splinters from our Lord's cross, thorns from the crown, nothing of interest to me. And where did the pieces of the sword go? He sold them off to swordsmiths and blacksmiths hereabouts. They just keep them lying around at home for good luck. If I had them, I'd forge them back into a sword. Can you even imagine what power it would command? If you could get me all the pieces of the sword, I'd repay you very handsomely. Are you sure the Queen of Sheba's a Czech queen? Who else would she be? Have you not heard of her? Our some priest. She's in the Bible. Uh -huh. Isn't it a bit strange that some pilgrim would have something so valuable? Are you suggesting you might have been lying? Well, people aren't to be trusted, but this is nothing to joke about. God would smite him in a flash if he made light of holy relics that way. What kind of power did this sword have? What do you think? It brought his bearer good luck in combat and protection from enemies. Where can I find the powers? Like I said, the smith hereabouts bought them from him. They say the largest pieces with the Ratai swordsmith. The bastard probably won't want to sell. But if you manage to swipe it somehow... I could do with a sword like that. What if you sold it to me? Well, everything has its price. But this one would be expensive. Getting hold of the bits is one thing. Forging them back together is quite another. That tinkerer from Ratai couldn't manage it. Well, it does sound very interesting. I'll ask them and see what I can do. Excellent. You'll see you won't regret it. I'll pay you well. Take care now.
Mother of God. You look like you've been assaulted. I'm interested in your uh, services. Uh-huh. And what do you want? A bit of everything. Heal my wounds, have a proper bath. Oh, and my garments are in need of laundering. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. God bless. I'd like to learn something from you. Hmm. And what can you do? A bit of everything. Can you now? But to be more precise, do you understand herbs and medicinal plants? <coughs> of course. Like the back of my hand. You don't look the part, but if you say so, go to the herb garden, take a good look at what's growing there, and then pull up the weeds in the herbaceous beds. Is that clear? Clear. I can get cracking. Not so fast. Have I even told you what I consider a weed? It's dandelions, stinging nettles and thistles. Those plants have their use, but they've no business growing among the Euphrasia and the Mentha, or anywhere else in that garden for that matter. Where is it they're not supposed to grow? Between the mint and the eyebright. Once you've cleared the garden of weeds, come back. And woe betide you if you pull up anything but weeds. Don't worry, you've never had as good a gardener. How do I know which are the weeds? You see, this is the part where you learn Quiet. something. Look in the herbarium to find out what a dandelion, stinging nettle and thistle look like. I see. Good luck to you.
I wonder what Teresa's doing now. How do I know which are the weeds? You see, this is the part where you learn something. Look in the herbarium to find out what a dandelion, stinging nettle and thistle look like. I see. I can't stay. May the Lord watch I over you. I just can't.
It's done. Did you weed the beds and leave what should be growing there alone? Not a leaf wasted. I'm glad to hear it. I'm going to check with my own eyes. May the Lord watch over you. Let's talk about the price. Well, we can try it. Here you are, with a little topper. Thanks a thousand times. May the Lord watch over you. This get here. Were you satisfied with my weeding? It wasn't the best work I've ever seen, but you pulled up more weeds than herbs, so you deserve a reward. May the Lord watch over you. Do you need any more help? Knowledge of herbal remedies always comes in handy. Listen up. We have some new brothers who are meant to help me with the wounded, but not all of them know their medicinal herbs as well as I'd hope. They'll have to be taught. Uh, I'm not much of a teacher. I should imagine not. But you won't be doing any teaching. Just helping me put together our new herbarium. I shall need all of the herbs mentioned in the old one. That sounds easy. I'll be right back. Don't be so sure. Some of the herbs are shy little things, prone to hiding from sight. When you've collected one of each, come back for your reward. One more thing. Bring me some old book or other. We'll scrape off the old ink to make a palimpsest and use the blank pages for the herbarium. An old book. Very well. Farewell.
got those herbs you wanted. Let me see if you have everything. Are you trying to waste my time? Come back when you have all the herbs. Take care now. got those herbs you wanted. Let me see if you have everything. Are you trying to waste my time? Come back when you have all the herbs. Good luck to you. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep.
I've got those herbs you wanted. Let me see if you have everything. Excellent, you have all the plants. I'll take those from you. And what of the book? Did you remember to bring it? I certainly did. Here it is. Thank you for everything. I'll set some on the task of scraping away the old ink and making the herbarium. It is my pleasure. Would you teach me more about alchemy? Certainly. I'm interested in more advanced techniques. Wouldn't you rather learn the base? Well, I'll think it. Take care. Your hunker? Henry? I'm glad to see you. Me too. I heard that you're doing well. Well, that depends. You're alive. So you're doing well. What's happening here? Oh my God. Philip and... They're all... Yes. Where do you think the wounded ended up? Actually, uh, I had no idea. Well, now you know. Me and Nicodemus have been trying to keep things under control since Scalettes was raised. Just the two of us. Um, so can I help at all? Certainly. You can always use an extra pair of hands here. And it's been like that since the beginning. I was in a bad way myself back then. They took me to Rattai unconscious and I needed a healer. Hmm. How is everyone holding up? What can I do? Holding up? People here are dying, usually needlessly, and I can't do anything about it. We don't have enough food or space or anyone who's willing to help us. Doesn't anyone help you with nursing these people? You've got scholars all around you. <laughs> scholars, maybe, but they leave the healing up to God. Nicodemus is trying, but everything he knows is from his books. Can I have a look at them myself? I know a little about healing. Do you now? And what would you do if you burnt yourself at the forge? First, you have to cool it down with water. Marigold ointment helps, and it's better if you don't bind it and let it breathe. Hmm. You do know what you're talking about. Looks like blacksmiths know about more than just pulling teeth. Pulling teeth? Nothing to it. As long as you don't squeeze the pincers too hard and crush them. Well... Go and see if anyone needs anything. Just don't go pulling anyone's teeth. Doesn't the monastery care for them? They give us some food for them and a place to sleep. But I wouldn't say they help exactly. More like they just tolerate us. Do you have enough food? Enough to survive, maybe. But convalescents need feeding up. Maybe if I brought some meat. Some game. That would strengthen them up. That would be a great help. Anything else you need? Look around. Well, it is a little crowded. Crowded? I've had to leave some of the sick lying in the open air, even at night. And have you seen what they're lying on? Hmm. I'll try to negotiate better conditions with the monastery. I tried that. Out loud. They just nod their heads but don't move a muscle. Hmm. Very well. And how are you doing? You're the only woman here, alone in the monastery. <laughs> Some of the monks speak to me, but other people act like I don't exist. Too bad the custodian isn't one of those. Is the custodian causing you problems? All the time. Apparently he has a wife somewhere, but that doesn't stop him. He's constantly strutting around in front of me. And, um, what else? What do you mean, what else? He's invited me to his home. I could do something about it, if, if you liked. <sighs> no, I can deal with him. The last thing I need is you going around threatening people. It won't help me, and it definitely won't help the refugees.
Why is there a guard outside? He's here because of me. Because of you? Yes. There was one time I just had enough of it all, of the way they treat us, and I almost slapped one of... But that doesn't matter. What can you tell me about the custodian? He's supposed to be in charge of all the guards and the security of the monastery. But really, he has a say in pretty much everything, including supplies. And that's why he probably thinks he can do whatever he wants. All right, that's all I need to know. Look, Henry, I know I can speak harshly, but I'm at the end of my tether. Last week, Bohuslav died. Maybe you knew him. And nobody even blinked an eye. We desperately need help. I'll do whatever's in my power. Quiet! Help me. My humble greetings. How may I help you? God watch over you, good night. Especially in these dark times. Can I do something for you? May the Lord watch over you. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. All right, so. This here and uh, a little top up. Thanks a thousand times.
Everything here is fine. You're the one who's in charge of the wounded. Yes, I'm the Infirmarius here. Time was I only had a few elderly monks who couldn't walk to take care of. Now I have this mess to deal with. Monks so old they can't hold themselves up with their own legs. Oh, if that were the only bodily function they could control. But I shouldn't talk like that. It's a blessing to live to such an age. Why are they so badly provided for? People are crammed in next to each other, and some have to sleep outside. That can't be good for them. It gets freezing here at night. I've... I can't afford anything more for them. How is that possible? You're the Infirmarius. You decide how all the money gets spent. But I have no say in how much money I'm given. And because the abbot's away, it's still the same amount I had when I was taking care of a few old men. Can't you do anything? Won't the others help? Unfortunately not. The brothers in the cloister aren't much interested in the external world. And the custodian has enough on his plate with the chaos in the region. Besides, his main concern is the smooth running of the monastery. And the local custodian? His crew has enough provisions. I tried him, but it seems he had some disagreement with the Ohanka and now he won't give us anything. Hmm. I'll try to talk to him. I can't believe your conscience lets you leave the Scalit's locals in such a state. I know. I'm ashamed. But my brothers believe it's all in God's hands now. Even so, conditions here seem to me quite unchristian. You're not the only one. How are the wounded from Scalit's? Some of them are well taken care of, but others, others are dying here needlessly. It's a good thing we have Johanka here. I'd never be able to manage on my own. So you don't normally treat the wounded then? Well, there were accidents, of course. A broken leg, someone who'd been kicked by a cow or bitten by a goat. But this... I've never dealt with the carnage of battle before. If only it had been a battle. This was cold-blooded slaughter. You were there? God be merciful to you and the dead and the wounded. How can I help you? Have you talked to Johanka? I did. Well, if you know something about it, then go and take a look. However, you don't look like you've studied the Hippocratic arts. That's true. I'm the son of a blacksmith, but I have been around the wounded before. What do I do if I'm not sure of the treatment? Come and speak to me. We'll see what we can do. What do you think about the custodian? Baron von Berg? Well, he does his job well. He keeps us safe again. here. And the last time I saw him was when I was rubbing ointment on his rash. I heard he's been here a lot lately. That's true. He comes to visit Johanka, but he's never here long and he always leaves unsatisfied. Thank you. the love of God! What have you been doing? I brought some meat. Please, help me. What will happen to my fan? <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Rich Quiet. food will definitely help. Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all I need to know. Oh, what will happen to May my the family? Lord watch over you.
I'm honored that you should come to me. I'm helping at the infirmary now, and I came to our... Ah, and how is Johanka? Do you know her well? Y yes, I do. Good, good. Does she ever talk about me? Sometimes. A little. That's good. Excellent. Johanka means a lot to me. I'm mainly here for supplies and to talk about the state of the wounded from Scalitz. They need blankets, food... Well, that's not my problem. Let the infirmarias take care of it. His hands are tied. Until the abbot comes back, he can't get anything. And why should that interest me? Maybe because of Johanka. Hmm. What precisely are you getting at? She has a kind heart. Everyone can see how deeply she cares about the wounded. If you help her selflessly, it'll win her over. She's bound to be impressed. Maybe you're right. It will cost me something, but I'll discuss it with Nicodemus. I should be able to help in some way. Take care now. above. I can't get a wink of sleep. What are you making such a fuss about? A fuss? Because of my leg, I have to stay here for at least another week. It hurts like fuck. And with everyone else moaning and groaning all night, I, I can't get any sleep. Please. Maybe I can make you something to help you sleep. Oh, then for God's sake, do it quickly. God be with you. For the love of God, what have you been doing? Tell me more about the situation here. All right. Goodbye. How about some potion to induce heavy sleep? Certainly. The old reliable. Reliable? Some of the brothers like a good sleep. And sometimes that's the only way to get one. I'll show you how. Thanks.
Let's have a word about the price. Hmm. Alright, so? Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. Well now, thank you very much. I won't get any sleep. I just won't get any sleep. Sleep again. Hmm. God save you.
let's have a word about the price. Well, we can try it. Here you are, with a little topper. My word, thank you kindly. I've got something for you. Really? <laughs> Drink this and you'll fall straight to sleep. Oh, thank you. Take care now. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. God, what will happen to my family? I'm not needed here. not from Scalettes? No, but please help me. I can't stay here. What happened to you? I was working on the building when the scaffolding up by the roof collapsed underneath me. Well, and you're very lucky you survived at all. Yes, that's what everyone tells me. But it's no use being alive if all I can do is lie here like a wet sack of barley. Well, you're pretty battered, but I don't see anything that a few weeks rest can't fix. Weeks? My oh God, I have to get back to work sooner than that. What's the problem? Why can't you stay until you heal? I have a family. I'm poor. It's only thanks to the building work that we can survive. And the master told me, if I don't come back in a few days, then I shouldn't come back at all. And where can me and my wife go then? Who'll take us in? We'll end up living in the woods where any bandit or ruffian can set on us. Is there anything I can do to help? It looks like they took care of your wounds. When I was little, my father got trampled on by a horse and an old hag from the village gave him some kind of purple herbs for it. And he got better very quickly. And do you remember what the herbs were? I don't. But there's supposed to be the whole cursed knowledge of the world in this place. Something has to be written about it. A herbarium. Anything. I'll try to find something. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck to you. Yeah? Damn, why are you waking me? Hopefully I have what you need. Thank you. With any luck, I'll soon be feeling better. 
If you find the time, stop by to see me in a few days. Farewell. What was it? You look all right. Mostly, but my leg still hurts. Did the Cumans wound you? <laughs> That's what I tell the ladies. Truth is, I did myself a mischief while I was running away. Hmm. And do they rebandage it for you? Occasionally. They told me they don't have enough bandages. Well, that's no use. Those bandages need changing. I've got bandages, so I can take care of it. Wonderful. Could you tell Brother Nicodemus? <coughs> I can do it myself. Um, I thought you were a blacksmith. Yeah, a long time ago. But unfortunately, I've had to learn a thing or two about the art of medicine since then. Well, fine then. Take care. Dear Mistress Johanka, I come again in admiration of your selfless dedication. I would like to invite you to a fine banquet at my palace. You certainly have earned some... What business have you here, fellow? Who let you in? I'm taking care of the wounded, as I'm sure you're aware. Ah. Well then, run along and take care of them and let me talk to your hunker. You're not needed here. <coughs> Wouldn't it be better to have the banquet here, custodian? What? You admire Johanka's self-sacrifice. I'm sure she appreciates the same quality in others. Ah, yes. Quite. I was just thinking the same. I'll have some food brought here. He'll be able to get out of this on his own. Everything here is fine. He just needs to sleep. Hmm. He's not reacting. But all I can see that's wrong with him is his leg. I have to ask you, Hunker. <coughs> Philip. From Scalitz. Hmm. I don't see any wounds, but he's shaking terribly. Henry! What's wrong with that man by the altar? He doesn't look wounded, but he's really pale and doesn't react at all. He had a broken leg, a bad one. The bone had come right through the skin. We tried to straighten it, but I don't know if we did it right. I'm not holding out much hope for him. I've seen folk in that state before, and it didn't end well. My God, there has to be something we can do. And what do you suggest? The monks won't help, and I don't know anyone else who can. Well, I can try. I'll straighten his leg. You? Unfortunately, I've had occasion to try this sort of thing before. You have to place the bones as precisely as you can next to each other. It's hard, but you have to ignore any screams of pain. That's the only way to help him. Well, fine. Try it then. Good luck then. Are you holding him firmly? Aye. Done.
Welcome, Henry. Oi! What the? Everything here is fine. These wounds have been well taken care of. For the love of God! What have you been doing? What happened to Philip? Poor man. There was nothing wrong with him, and now he's getting worse every day. But do you know why? Maybe. He didn't run away from Scalitz, you see. He hid for days among the corpses. <sighs> if he got poisoned. But what can we do? Us? Nothing. Only Father Simon might have been able to save him. He knew a lot about poisons. And where is he? You know he left Scalitz years ago. And does anyone know where he ended up? <laughs> if you believe the stories about a wild man in the woods, then Rovnar is the place to go. Tell me more about the situation here. All right, that's all I need to know. That custodian Sebastian is really obnoxious. He can be unpleasant, but in his own way, I don't know. You can't be serious. What's that supposed to mean? At least he was here, unlike you, the whole time. And anyway, mind your own business. Take care. My respects to you. I see there's not much going on around here. So you've stayed here on your own? Quite so. All by myself. All the others were either killed by the Cumans or fled to Rate. I'm sorry to hear that. And what's keeping you here, alone? My older brother ran away with the wandering players. So when our father was on his deathbed, he made me swear... I'd never leave our home. I can see you took your vow seriously. I did. And it's starting to get dangerous around here. Again. The Cumans. If it were Cumans, I'd grab an axe and that would be that. But a week back, some rabble made their way through here. They begged me for food, and mark my words, they weren't taking no for an answer. If they'd been just a tad hungrier, I swear they would have stormed the cottage. There are gangs like that around, true enough. I saw the mess they left behind. Savages. It was horrible. People tried to find shelter in the church, but them dogs was waiting. They knew too well that's where folk would try to hide. And where did you hide? By the grace of God, I got my family away into the woods. And I don't see your family with you. I hope those bastards didn't sniff them out. No, no. It takes better man than them to track me down. I sent my wife to Rate with some others. Do you think folk will ever go back to their homes? Well, I don't know about Scalitz, but the folk here are sure to want to come back. The only thing they're missing is spiritual support. Do you mean the priest? Indeed. When the land's at war, noblemen fight to protect their property. But simple folk want someone to tend their souls. Of course. But it was the Scalitz parish priest who ministered here, wasn't it? He did. But there's been no sign of him since the attack. Or at least he's definitely not in Rate among the refugees. That's true enough. I didn't see him there. But if you're interested, young fella, maybe you could help us find the priest we need here. 
I can always ask. But I've heard where the Scallet's priest went. That's great news. Although I had my eye on another priest. You might as well tell me who he is. What I heard about the Scallet's priest might just be rumours. True. Well then, a few years ago there used to be another priest in Scallet's. Simon, I think his name was. Simon? Father Simon, I remember him. That's the one who went missing, right? Aye. I don't want to spread rumours, but they say he was in love with his housekeeper. And then she died somehow, poor thing. That's not a story I've come across. It only reaches folk who care for such tales. Well, to finish the story, Simon left the parish and ran away. You know that already. There was neither sight nor sound of him for a long time. Until this spring, he showed up here. And what's he doing here? That's just it. People say he's become a hermit. All right. And where can I find him? I couldn't tell you exactly, but you could start by talking to that girl's parents. Well, they live on a farm nearby, and it's likely they know more. They may even have had words with him. I'll go and see what they have to say for themselves. God go with you, lad, and I pray you find him. If some heathen stabs me in my sleep, I'd rather have a decent burial. Don't worry. I'll bring someone. May the Lord watch over you. Yeah. Jesus! God's blessings. I'm looking for the priest, Father Simon, and I heard you might know of him. Simon? What do you want him for? 
I'm looking for the priest who used to take care of St James, and the locals tell me they saw him around here. I don't know if I can help you there. He'll never go back to his parish if you ask me. Very well. What is it you want to know? What went on between Simon and your daughter? Nothing that hasn't happened before. Our Mary was his housemaid in Scalitz. She was pretty, very pretty. And he was young, and so things went the way they do between comely young folk. She came back home one day, heavy with child. That must have been quite a scandal. My husband was furious. He ran around the cottage brandishing an axe and yelling that he'd kill him. The neighbours wagged their tongues a bit, but in the end I was happy the girl was taken care of. The priest was generous with his compensation. Only she never had the chance to hold that babe in her arms. She didn't live through the birth. I'm very sorry. Such is a woman's lot in life. Men die in battle and women in the arms of the midwife. And what happened to Simon? The poor man. He took it the worst. He was sure God's wrath smote Mary for her fornication. That's rubbish. People lie together out of wedlock all the time. And God never smites them down. That's just what I told him. But it's hardly my place to lecture a priest. And who knows? Maybe he was right. The Lord moves in mysterious ways. He was overflowing with grief. He barely spoke, didn't eat, refused to take a new housemaid. And then, one fine day, the presbytery was deserted. It took a good season before another priest came along. What went on between Simon and your daughter? Nothing that hasn't happened before. Our Mary was his housemaid in Scalitz. She was pretty, very pretty. And he was young, and so things went the way they do between comely young folk. She came back home one day, heavy with child. That must My husband was... Fu I'm very sorry. Such is... And what happened to... The poor man. That's... That he was over... Where can I find him? He's said to be wandering around here somewhere. I heard that too. And I'm inclined to believe it. Even though I haven't seen him myself. How come? After our poor Mary went to her rest, we used some of the money he'd paid us to put a cross up by the roadside. And lately... There's been wreaths of comfrey turning up next to it. I don't take them there, nor my husband neither. You think Simon does? Who knows? Maybe it's a miracle. I could believe anything. But there's not been fresh ones for a while, so perhaps he's moved on elsewhere again. I see. Can you tell me where that cross is? Certainly. There are settling tanks for the mines to the west of Scalitz. On the hill above them in the woods, there are several paths. Mary's cross is by one of them, close to the brook. All right. Thanks. I'll be going. Very good, then. And if you do find him, let him know that we have no hard feelings. I'll tell him. God be with you. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah. Yeah! This must be that cross. Mary's mother was right. Someone did lay flowers here recently. Yeah. I should have a look around and see if there's comfrey growing anywhere nearby. Come for the priest. Simon. There's no one here called that. There is. Do you take me for a fool? All right. Maybe there is someone here. What of it? We're not going anywhere. I don't know. Imprisoning a warlock can be a dreadful mistake. What do you want about? Didn't you say he was a priest? He is. But he's also a warlock. A master of the dark arts. Do you think normal priests go hiding in the woods? No, but... Exactly. So if you don't want your eyes to boil up from the inside, your nose to turn into a twisted root, and your tongue into a toad, you'd better start to run. Now! No, of course. No, we don't want that. We're very sorry, but if... No ifs, no buts. Clear out of here. Fine, fine. Just take it easy now. Are you all right? Ah, yes. Yes, I think so. Oh, what happened to those wretches? They're skulking around here somewhere. Good God! Couldn't you scare them off somehow? I'm afraid they'll be back. I'll see what I can do. Just don't hurt anyone. <coughs> oh, thank you, my son. I was beginning to fear I'd never get out of here alive. Times are hard when brigands roam the land and attack the defenseless. But they didn't attack me. I saw them raiding birds' nests down by the path, so I took pity on them. Which makes what they did all the more loathsome. That's no way to repay a good Christian's hospitality. And to whom do I owe my salvation? My name's Henry. You may remember me. I'm the son of the Scalitz blacksmith. Your face does seem familiar. But listen, Henry, I can't help feeling you didn't stumble across me by accident. It's true. I've come to ask a favor of you. Me? What on earth could I do for you? I need you to go back to St. James. The folk there need spiritual guidance. Scalitz is a burned-out shell, and many have died in St. James. 
They need a priest. Any priest. I understand, but I have to disappoint you. I gave up my calling. Instead, I've given myself over to repentance. The people need you. Please understand that. I understand, but they need a better priest than I. Do you have any idea what's going on around you? There is war, Father. War! People are dying. They slaughtered folk in St. James who sought sanctuary in the church. I'm not blind. I do know what's happened. And yet you want me to go back and tell them that the only person, far and wide, who could serve as their priest, turned them down? You lay a great burden on me, Henry. I know that, but the people do need you. Well, you're probably right. It is my duty. At least for a time. Until they find someone better. I don't think they'll find anyone better in a hurry. All right. I'll take what I can carry and go back to St. James. Thank you. Your parishioners will be very grateful. I need help with treatment. Hmm, and what's wrong with you? Oh, nothing. But Philip from Scalitz is dying. He's lying in Sassau and won't last long. Slowly now. What happened to him? Nobody knows much. He's not wounded. But I heard he was hiding from the Cumans for days in a pile of carcasses. The Lord have mercy. The living should never lie with the dead. His intestines must be purged. But even then, he's in God's hands. How do I clean his intestines? It might surprise you, but you'll have to give him alcoholic spirits. The purest you can get your hands on. The best is distilled from Artemisia. It'll make him a bit delirious, but it'll help. I'll show you how to prepare it.
God be with you. What can I do for you? I'd like to discuss the price. Well, we can try it. Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. Well now, thank you very much. you how are you feeling good it feels clean hope it helps it will tell them to rebandage you daily you have the bandages here thank you very much Henry don't mention it see you later aha uh -huh. mm. mm, it's you I see you look much better. No, I feel much better. Then I heard it was all down to you. Thank you. If you ever need to know about anything that's going on in Sasau, come and see me. There's nothing much happens here without my knowledge. Thomas is my name. Henry, Goodbye. I'm glad you stopped by. I won't get any sleep. I just won't. What's going on now? You didn't get any brew? The brew's gone. You could have saved some. I know, but I didn't. Can you get me more? <sighs> this is the last time. See you later. Brew? Mm, yes, please. Take care. We brought you back to the land of the living. How? How long have I been unconscious? For a long time. Your friends have left. I have to find them. Rest now. You're going to be very weary for the next week or two. You'll find your friends. They probably ended up in Ratai like most of our folk. Well, all right. And Henry? 
Hmm? Thank you. I just won't get any sleep. You saved me. You've no idea what you've done for me. Oh God, thank you. I didn't do that much. You did more than anyone else here. I'm sorry, I've got no money to repay you, but I can tell you a secret. How workers like me keep up backbreaking labor day after day. I've got something for you. Really? Here you go. And save some of it. I don't want to hear you ranting again tomorrow. Thank you. See you later. God be with you, head. For the love of God! What have you been doing? Tell me more about... All right, that's... How are the sick and wounded faring? I don't think there's anything more I can do for them. You did what you could. <laughs> Truly. I don't know what I would have done without you. You saved a lot of lives. God be with you. How'd you get so fucked up? How do you like it at the mill, Fritz? It's gotta be better than the mines. It's worse here than at Scallet. There you could disappear without anyone noticing. But eh. But why would you want to disappear? Nimoy isn't here. <laughs> no, he's not. But the local foreman is an even bigger ass. <laughs> I'm not sure that's possible. You better believe it. I'd like to pay him back for everything, and drown him in the river. Drown him? What's he done to you? It was the, uh, first or the second day here. Uh, we had a disagreement, and I told him off. And then, all of a sudden, we're fighting, and that fucker just throws me in the river. I nearly drowned. Well, how did you get out? I thought you couldn't swim. I can't. They pulled me out. I was up to my waist in water. I see. Well, I'd be pretty fucking angry too. So you want to pay him back? Exactly. I don't give a shit about anything around here, but that bastard's in need of a good trouncing. I spoke with him briefly, and he doesn't seem so horrible. Then you ought to try working with him. He's a sneaky bastard. And arrogant. You should see how he puffs himself up when he's off to play dice with Lawrence. But who's Lawrence? Another mill hand. Aye, but the neighbouring mill. They call him the Wren. Damned if I know why. Thomas goes there to play dice with him. What about the others at the mill? Are they awful as well? The mill is an old fool. He believes every word that comes out of Thomas's mouth. It's hopeless. And then there's the miller's daughter. She's a pretty lass and kind with it. 
Well, what can she do? Nothing. <laughs> Not that it stops Mafia going to see her. But it's Thomas is the root of the problem. Do you think he's jealous? Is she a sweetheart? He might make puppy dog eyes at her. But most of the time, he just struts about like a peacock. I really don't think she's the problem. And what do you want to do about it? Do you think you can come to an agreement? No fucking chance. Matthew hopes so because he likes it here. It's true the work's better than the mines, but the play's worse. So how do you plan on dealing with it? Leaving? Perhaps. But first, I want to give Thomas a proper trouncing. I mean a real thrashing. And you think that will help? Maybe. Maybe it'll knock some sense into that fat head of his. Or he'll be too frightened to mess with me. That might help. So why don't you arrange a fight with him? If we win, he'll leave us alone. Oh, we could... What? We could lure him off someplace far away and then wait for him. Maybe to play dice with Lawrence. He would have to go through the dark woods. Mm. I'll think about it. The monastery wants you to pay for treatment. That doesn't sound right. Leave it be, Howell. If you say so. See you later. Bye. Jesus, what have you been up to? I've heard you don't have it easy here. So you spoke to Fritz then? I bet that wasn't quite how he put it. <laughs> no, not quite. Apart from Thomas's name, the rest was mostly swear words. I can imagine. I've been hearing the same from him all week. The foreman here is a pain in the arse. He's trying either to wear us to the bone or force us to leave. Always forcing you to work, is he? If only. That wouldn't be so awful. But nothing we do is good enough for him. There's always some reason for him to yell at us. I can imagine. You know what it's like. We do too little, and it takes us too long, and what we eat's worth more than the work we've done, and it's no fun listening to that sort of shit day after day. And the miller won't stick up for you. I would have thought all the yelling would drive him mad. Not really. He trusts that loudmouthed bastard more than us. He's got us down for a pair of parasites. I see. What's so stupid is the mill really needs us. They haven't had any hands here for quite a while, and the mill needs a lot of fixing. But with them around, we can't even get to work. And you definitely don't... You don't ever provoke him? I've already told you once, he's an asshole. I'd say there's nothing we can do about it. If he wants to yell at us, he'll yell at us. Have you tried talking with him? What do you think? But that just sets him off. He starts saying we're practically bandits, and what he's going to do about it. That gets Fritz going, and he starts yelling too, and... Hmm. I'd never have guessed he's like that. Well, get a job here as a hand and you'll soon see. And what does he do during the day? Does he work with you? <laughs> Good one. He keeps his eye on everything, but his hand only touches the saw when the miller shows up, which isn't that surprising. Why? The last time he did anything, he almost took his thumb off with a chisel. I wouldn't put an axe in those paws of his either. So he's clumsy and arrogant. That's what you said about your last master, that Nimoy. Aye, but at least you could sneak away from old Nimoy for a bit. No chance of that around here. And what do you want to do about it? Just run away? Actually, I'd like to stay here. At least for a bit. I never would have thought I'd like working in a mill. But not with him around. It's unbearable. And there's no one I can complain to. But you could. Me? Do you think they'll listen to me? They did once already, didn't they? They hired us because of you. You could have another word with them. Back then, making promises was enough. Now, it will be worse. You can forget about the miller. It's Thomas you need to convince. The miller takes his opinion seriously. So, will you do it for us? Again? Fine. I'll try and talk to him. <sighs> I'm glad. But try not to get on his wrong side. You won't get anywhere with him then. I'll keep that in mind. Take care. God almighty, has something happened to you? Did someone steal your fancy clothes? So what do you think about the workers I brought you? If I hadn't put in a good word for them, the miller would have thrown them out by now. 
I heard them say something else. So they're complaining, are they? <laughs> I provide for them, and all they do is slack off. Isn't it the miller who provides for them? He can't manage the work anymore. If it weren't for me, there'd be nothing left standing around here. But you need the help anyway, and they're pretty handy. Maybe, but they're in no danger of overworking themselves. They act like they're too good for the mill, and I saw them eyeing up Jane. Nothing strange about that. She's a pretty girl, and she's of an age to marry. It's not marriage they've got on their minds. They'd have their way with her, then before her belly started to grow, they'd have run for the hills. Look, we can reach an agreement. You need the mill fixed, they need the money. If they have peace to do their work, they'll be able to finish it faster. But... And then they'll take their groschen and leave. The mines will open again, and the faster they get their money, the quicker they'll be gone. But do you really think I can trust them to do it? Will they do their work and leave? And leave Jane alone in the meantime? Of course. They're not interested in the mill. They just need the coin to pay their debts. Once they've got enough, they'll have no reason to stay here. I never thought we could sort it out this way. I've known them for a long time, and you can rely on them when it comes to this. Everybody will be better off. All right. If they keep their part of the bargain, I'll even give them a few extra groschen. But woe betide them if they don't. You can tell them that. God be with you. You incapable Jesus, what have you been up to? It took some doing, but I made a deal with him. I'm glad to hear it. So we can stay here? He'll leave us be? He'll leave you alone, but there are conditions. Once you finish your job, you'll vanish from here. But you'll get an extra groschen or two for your troubles. And that's it? I thought... Oh, never mind. Oh, and you're to stop dallying with the miller's daughter. Keep on mucking about with her and you'll muck things up for yourselves. The fucking bastard. He can go fuck himself. He'd better give us enough groschen to make it worth it. But I suppose I should thank you. You may have bought us some peace and quiet, and that's better than nothing. Here's something for your help. See you later.